Hi right, guys, this is just a status update. What I'm doing right now is I have started up another semester of college. I am still doing my mentalism stuff. Uh, actually, I have uh, started performing more and I've actually developed a business card. And you can't really see the writing too well because the font actually messed up on it when I was trying to print it off so I'm gonna have to redo all of them pretty much but um yeah I'm writing a new paper now based on something pretty near and dear to my heart as far as um the field of parapsychology goes it's called the complexities of evaluating evidence for psychic effects rambling about progressive parapsychology and um you know, this article, which I'm working on, I'm probably going to publish it in Paranthropology. If uh, Jack is cool with that, I'll probably send it in to him, or I might. Uh, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. But uh, the paper is dealing with something that I think is very important for the future of parapsychology, which is really how to overcome some of the difficulties associated with interpreting evidence for psychic effects. and um, how we can find some type of resolution and really figure out what's going on. Uh, I think a little thing that I wrote in this, um, I'll read you one paragraph to kind of, kind of give you a, a, a good idea of what's coming with it. Uh, here we go. The absence of any obvious mechanism in the production of supposed psychic effects is one of the biggest criticisms that can be leveled against allegations of their reality. And then I cite uh, Victor Stenger uh, in his article from the Skeptical Inquirer in 1997. It was called Quantum Quackery. Um, it has been the aim of many parapsychologists and researchers who believe they've stumbled upon an effect that is outside of current mainstream scientific knowledge to rule out potential natural artifacts, thus suggesting that something supernormal could be occurring. While this is an essential start, no alternative explanations exist that can circumvent the beliefs of everyone interpreting the claimed evidence for psychic functioning. Otherwise, it would be, would be taken as a common scientific knowledge of things or that things of that nature happen. Owing to this, numerous possible paranormal and normal ex explanations for the observed effects are offered, regardless of their tenability. We fill in the gaps, whether by approaching the subject from a position of absolute belief, disbelief, or somewhere in the ever-elusive middle ground of stress, tearing one's hair out, and exor uh, exorbitant doses of whiskey. Um, yeah, basically that uh, summarizes the what I'm writing about. I think that uh, something we need to do is continue to try and merge parasite. We need to merge the not just parapsychology, but we need to merge the skeptics movement and the, I guess, the believer movement or whatever. We need to merge those two things together and incorporate all that into the field of parapsychology. We don't need to have distinct categories of um, people looking at these things because uh, it, it's a very muddy thing. We need to find some type of uh, agreed upon thing which is uh, much, much more difficult than it, it sounds like on paper. Um, one of the problems is that people are approaching these things from a wide variety of different standpoints, some of them rational, some of them irrational. Um, or seemingly irrational and rational. I mean, what is rationality anyways? Uh, but the problem there is it, uh, a lot of people claim measure to, measures of uh, expertise and what we, need to, what we need to have, parapsychology needs to be the field that is addressing these phenomena. We need, we, we need to have people getting together and uh, deciding to look past whatever belief barriers they have, uh, whatever differences they have, and try and work towards some type of resolution, really, really attacking these problems and getting at the root of them. Uh, because if you don't do that, you, um, you're you not really going forward at all. It's just the same cycle over and over again. 
Um, and the paper addresses that. I've not finished it yet, but I'm working on it. I, it's taking a lot of thought on my end. I think what we need to do is really find better ways of presenting evidence. If, if psychic phenomena exist, if they do, we need to find better ways of narrowing down the interpretational issues um, involved in this line of research because um, they, that, that is a very significant problem. Because uh, when you don't know what causes something, you do tend to fill in the gaps, like I said. So we need to find ways of narrow, narrowing that uh, problem down and also robustly publishing results. And uh, parapsychologists need to make a media presence. They need to have a media presence. Uh, when you look at paranormal TV shows and, and anything about the paranormal on TV, typically you see a bunch of uh, really credulous people running around in uh, the dark chasing their own shadows. And, and I talk about that in the paper. Either that or you see people on TV debunking uh, claim psychic effects and whatnot and it tends to paint this really narrow uh, picture of what's going on uh, there is a, a lot of uh, literature and a lot of evidence for these things the question is of course uh, how how good the evidence is is it uh, quality evidence or is it poor evidence and um, something we need to do is when we think we've observed something psychic we need to find better ways of documenting the effects that we observe and uh, better ways of kind of deducing what their cause is and by put uh, I guess publicizing those results um, and I think if we're all working together and on the same page it'll be a lot easier to do that a lot of people don't want to invest a lot of time into this type of research but it is extremely important and I think um, the only way to achieve some type of mainstream acceptance and parapsychology's just on the fringe of the mainstream I'd say there a lot of people consider it respectable and a lot of people don't um, and that that's because of the media and whatnot uh, the skeptical media has uh, done a lot in the last few decades to kind of smear that the reputation of parapsychology as a field but at the same time it can be a legitimate uh, area of scientific uh, inquiry and um, it definitely we need to bridge everything together. We don't need to have these different categories arguing back and forth over things. In every other area of science, you have people within the field working on the problems. And you have that in parapsychology, but you also have people outside of the field questioning the findings and, and whatnot. And that should happen within the field. It really should. Uh, that's one of my biggest things. It, this is It's not an easy topic to uh, address, but I am definitely working on it working on it and hoping to find some answer, some bit of resolution here. Uh, that's the only way we can get forward. Or, yeah, go forward at all, I'd say. But, um, yeah, I'm also working on my psychokinesis. That's interesting. Usually, well... I think I broke it almost. It's just barely hanging on. <laughs> um, well, you see people bend spoons all the time with the power of their mind, but have you ever seen some, uh, people actually put the spoons? Well, I think I broke it completely. <laughs> Damn. Ori Geller would be proud. But, yeah. I think the only way forward is to bridge the different subgroups that are approaching the topic into one distinct entity. And uh, also we need to find better ways of presenting and uh, evaluating, or at least presenting and compiling evidence than we have before. We have the technology available, which if the technology is used in a reasonable and meticulous fashion, we have a good way of I guess approaching the cases or individual cases in a much more effective way and getting over a few problems that have come up in the past. Um, but anyways, that's my video. That's my status update. Hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned. I'm going to uh, have the paper done soon and um, 
also have some more videos up soon. Thank you for watching.